I will always keep my videos here free. The only thing that I ask from you is to like and subscribe to my page. And also check me out on Patreon. Thank you so much. We're going to be talking about a couple different motions, their axis, and the planes that they move in. And it, this will become hopefully pretty apparent when we, see, when we see this motion right here. So if you look at flexion, that's basically flexing forward. And when you're straightening your back, that's called extension. Now, when we're talking about planes, we're talking about either transverse, coronal, or sagittal planes. Let's take the sagittal plane, for example. The only motion that you can make in this plane is either going forward, aka flexing, or going backwards, aka extending. If you side bend or you rotate, you're no longer making that motion within this plane. You can either move forward or you can move backwards. But when we're talking about axis, what we mean is what is the motion moving around? Not what is the direction of the motion, but what is the motion moving around? In this case, if we put a bar, for example, straight down the middle, and then we have flexion or extension, we know that this person is moving around this bar. In this case, flexion and extension will move around a transverse axis and a sagittal plane. Again, here we see this is moving around a transverse axis right here, and it's moving in the direction of a sagittal plane. We're also going to be discussing rotation. As you can see here, you're basically twisting your body either to the right or to the left. Let's pretend there's a pole in the middle of the person, hopefully not in real life, but you know, when this person rotates, it's going to move around this bar, either to the right or to the left. We'll call that a vertical axis. But what plane is this moving in? What is the actual plane of motion? In this case, the plane is going to be the transverse plane. When this person rotates to the right or rotates to the left, they are doing it within the available area of a transverse plane. So in this case, rotation has the vertical axis and a transverse plane. Now again, it might make sense to you pretty easily. It might not. In any case, all you need to know is a simple chart. Rotation has a vertical axis and a transverse plane. And we're also going to be discussing side bending, which we see here side bending one way and side bending back towards the other way. If you had a pole going straight through this person or a rod, which I hope that doesn't actually happen, but we can see that if the person side bends this way or if they side bend this other way, it's basically going around this rod. Therefore, for side bending, what we have for axis, we call an AP axis. AP stands for anterior posterior axis. Now, what is the plane of motion? When you're side bending to the left and right, the available plane that this person has to use is going to be this one right here. So when this person goes this way, or they go the other way, they're going within this plane. So let's complete our chart here. For side bending, we're going to have this anterior posterior axis. And we have this coronal plane. 